Hello friends, I'm Karina Chin with KarinasCreations.com and I want to welcome you today to my Facebook Live. I'm going to show you how to make a really fun card using the Feels Like Home stamp set, which is a celebration stamp set, and I'm going to show you the split negative technique uh, with it, which is kind of fun as well. So let me just turn you down. So close your eyes for one second. And we'll go like this. There, you saw my ceiling for a second and I'll just put you in my stand. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. So welcome for my video today. I just find I can't chat and hold my camera at the same time. So I see Carolyn is here. Hello, Carolyn, welcome. So before I get started, I want to welcome you today. Uh, I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and I've been a demonstrator for about 14 years. And uh, my blog that I post on is karinascreations.com and if you wanted to order stuff today you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net and this is the current hostess code. I always like to mention that first because once I start stamping I always forget every single time. Okay so celebration is almost over. There is only two days left to get all of your fun favorites and if you're wondering what celebration is it's when you get something for free from this catalog. Hello, Maureen. How are you doing? People are just starting to jump on. Normally, I come on at 1 o'clock on Tuesdays, but I can't today. It's another crazy day. So this is the Celebration Catalog, and stuff in here is free. Now, this bedazzling paper is sold out. I believe there's still penguin paper left, so you got two days to get your favorites. I'm going to talk about the Feels Like Home stamp set today, and I'll show you how to make this really fun card. It's really easy to make, but it packs a big wow. And then there's still, I believe, beautifully penned paper left. I think peaceful prints. I haven't done an order today yet, so we'll see what's available. Counting sheep. Counting sheep dies may or may not be available still. I think maybe... Uh, textures and frames, summer shadow dies. Summer shadow dies is free with a $120 order and delicate dahlias is free with a $120 order as well. So lots of fun things. Good morning, Sharon. How are you today? So lots and lots of fun things. And then two, if you you know, organize a party in the next two days and the party sales are $375, you get a free In Your Word stamp set. And hello, Kathy. How are you today? So I did a draw. Whenever you like or share or comment on my video or subscribe to YouTube, I always do a draw, uh, sometimes for products, sometimes for a card. And I did a draw for the this card that we made the other day using textures and frames. It's kind of fun. It's nice to get happy mail. And I actually drew Kathy's name. So Kathy, Kathy, you are getting this in the mail. And it's kind of great that you're here. So I'll pop this in the mail for you and it makes a really nice sample. And it was a sh frame shaker card. And then tonight at 7 p.m., if you tune in to this channel again, we're going to do a draw for all the celebration extravaganza prizes that I'm giving away. The spots were $10 each and they were all sold out. So that will be tonight. So come back at 7 p.m. tonight and we'll do the draws for all of those. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's the first time I'm running it, so should be lots of fun. Okay, so that's that. And I wanted to mention to Stamp Camp, I worked on, I have a Stamp Camp on October 16th, and I worked really hard on the cards. So let me get them out here. So these are the projects. You can still join in if you want, but I'm placing the order October 1st. So it's actually eight, seven cards, one 3D project. The cost is $50 and it's based around the sweet stockings and then the other set. These are the sweet stockings cards. Aren't they cute? We'll do a shaker card. We'll do a, a spinny card. Isn't that fun? And then this one is kind of an easy fancy fold. What do you think? Is that not cute? And then as well, we have these projects. So we're going to do a cute little box and I'm going to put Muddy Buddies in here and give you the recipe because they're absolutely delicious. Hello, Nancy. How are you today? And then we're going to do the Christmas card, right? Flip flap card. And then 
I'm trying to think what the stamp set is for this one. That one, and then we're gonna do a, what is this called? Long card, can't think of the name of it right now, but those are the projects for the stamp count. And that's gonna be done over Zoom this time. I thought that would be kind of fun, but I love how the projects turned out. And mm, I was gonna show you the stamp set, but it's not close right now. Anyway, if you're interested in that, you can also sign up for my newsletter list and that's where I post all my classes. And I can also ship anywhere in Canada. So that is that. Now, I will also quickly mention that I have a monthly card class that you're welcome to join us. It's on the third Monday of the month or the second Wednesday of the month. And you know, these are just some of the cards that we make at my regular card class. And you can either pay the $20 a month to join, you get your card kits, or it's actually run as a club as well and you get your cards free with a $35 order. So those were two that we made last month. Actually, just a couple, well, last week, I guess. Oh my goodness, time is just flying. But I thought I would mention that as well. Okay, are you guys ready to start stamping now? This is the fun part. Okay, so first of all, I highly recommend that you get your Feels Like Home stamp set. There's only two days left to get this. The other thing I should mention is if you're looking at the Stampin' Up! catalog and you are, you know, if your wish list is huge, you may want to consider the starter kit because it's only $135, $135, and you get $165 in product, plus a product bundle right now for free. So I just had two people join yesterday, so I sent them out their welcome to the team cards. I'm so excited to invite Margaret Ann and Kathy Mansfield uh, to our group, so that was very exciting. And... Uh, and yeah, we just get together and we stamp once a month. And the one thing is, is that I'm here whenever you need help. So I have a call shortly after this to help my other new friend set up her new Stampin' Up! demo ID. And you get to be part of our crafting crew community. That's the main thing. It's so fun. We have a lot of fun together. Okay. Now, if you want to make this card with me, what you want to do is grab some, a black piece of cardstock. That is four inches by four inches. I use the rose gold specialty designer series paper for this card here, which is four inches by four inches. This time I'm gonna try the brushed metallic silver just to see what the difference is. Let's see what this looks like. And then for the split negative technique, I really, really like to use my Stamparatus. So let's pull that out. And I've already got it set up from when I did my sample. So I'll just pull this out of the way. And you have to do, you have to emboss two things. And you can see I set it up already so that my stamp was centered in a four by four inch square. And you can buy these little grid sheets for your Stamparatus. Okay, and then the black one needs to be embossed with Oh, I've got gold. Oh, we need to emboss this one with silver because I'm doing silver. This one I did with gold. And then the silver one gets embossed with black. So let's put a stamp pad under this door. That's the first kind of tip I have because otherwise it flaps all over the place and uh, you don't want to do that. So let's just emboss this quick. We'll do this one first and we'll just give it a press like so. And you can barely tell that it's even stamped. Hopefully it inked up. If not, I've got a backup ready to go. Now, I should have used an embossing buddy, but Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore. So we'll see if I can get this to work without the buddy. Other craft stores may have them, possibly. Actually, this worked not too bad. What it is, is it's an anti-static tool but it must be okay in my craft room tonight because, or today, because that looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is clip this on here and I'll emboss them at the same time because it does get noisy. Okay, now we're going to do our brushed metallic silver. So this is in the brand new mini catalog and you get three colors, uh, three different colors. This is one's more silver, and then there's ones that are, you know, a little bit darker with more gray in it. This is all I have left, though. I've been using it a lot. 
And so I think the image is on there. We will see. And then this time I need to emboss this with black embossing powder. So I'll move this out of the way. Let's just set that on the floor. And then I'm just going to bring this in. Uh oh, I rubbed my finger on the image. This may not be a good thing, you guys. We will see how this works. And then I try to put as much back into my container as possible. And you can see I store most of my embossing folders in a little container. Plastic container is just easier. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I'll emboss both of them at the same time. And so it's gonna get noisy for just one second. And what I'm gonna do is hold the tool over the image until the powder starts to melt. Oh, and look at this, I missed the wheel. So let me just pull it over here. Get the wheel of the bike. That's not gonna be very good if I miss that. Okay, and then this is what I'll do. I'll heat it up at the side. And then we'll do the black first. Hold it in one place. And see how it's melting on the video? Hello, Bilkis, how are you today? Thank you for giving me a heart. It caught my attention. I'm using my phone to record the video, so I often can't see the comments coming through until later. Okay, and let's go like this. I know, isn't that funny? Okay, does it look like does it look like the powders melted, you guys, from taking a look at the video? I think so. If not, it's okay. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't work. I have lots of extra paper. Okay, so this is what you need to do now. We need to get our paper trimmer. And I hope all of you try this technique. It's so easy. Okay, and I'm going to go like this. Do you guys ever hit the edge and then the powder goes flying in your face and it just explodes all over your craft room? Yeah, I've done that before. So I don't want to do this today in the video. That would just make me laugh. Okay, so this is cut at four by four. So we're gonna cut this in half at two inches. That's kind of why I chose four by four. It makes it really easy. And then we're gonna do this one. And this is gonna be at two. Now you can see the paper is warped a little bit. I could have embossed it from the back, but really I don't think it's gonna be a big deal for me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this on four by four a piece of white four by four cardstock. And let's go like this. Do you like it, Nancy? Yeah, this is such an easy technique, right? And I'll show you the gold one too. Let's just move this out of the way a little bit. And the Feels Like Home stamp set is perfect for this. Now you need to make sure that you get the edges if you're using your liquid glue. Now, can you see how much I put on? I've got barely any on here. And there is a wide tip at the other end if you want to, you know, add more glue and kind of smooth it out. Okay, so I'm just, I put, I like the liquid glue for this because I can kind of move it and get it to line up at the edge of my cardstock. So then I have less trimming to do later. Whereas if I use a really strong adhesive right off the bat, then it's not forgiving and I've got no wiggle room. So this is perfect. And we'll just line this up like this. Am I a little bit off, but not bad. Okay, and then I think I cut this down. I did, let's see what measurement I cut this down to. I forget why I trimmed it because I think, if I trim it a little bit, then you won't see the edges if it's not lined up perfectly. Okay, so this is four inches. So I need to take off an eighth of an inch on each side. I need this to be 3.75. So I think you guys have heard me say that I love my paper trimmer. Quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch is here, so I need an eighth. Okay, and let's just go to this side. You'll see how quick this card comes together. Okay, and then this one I think is three and three quarters. So this needs to be three and a half. So I can take off a quarter of an inch on the bottom and then the top. Oops, I should have, oh, that worked. I should 
make a little more effort to go through this paper. Now you'll notice that the Stampin' Up! cutting blade cuts this really nicely. It's super sharp. This is our new, well, I'm not new, new trimmer, but I know I've had a few people asking if it's worth the money to switch to this trimmer, and I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's just put this on. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? And I see Beth is here. Hello, Beth. If you're new, let me know where you're where you're watching from. Because I do do draws, so that's kind of fun. Okay, let's see. And I am at, I'm still not at my 1,000 subscribers. I think I needed 132 more on YouTube to be able to go YouTube to do YouTube Lives. So if anybody has a YouTube account and wants to follow me, that would be amazing. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, where'd my paper trimmer go? I put it back. So I cleaned up my craft room last week. It took a lot of work, but I think it looks a little bit neater in here. But I move things around, so it always takes me a little bit to figure out where I move things to. Okay, so I've already embossed this with, the, I think it's the textile 3D embossing folder. I don't know, don't hold me to that in case I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. I wonder if you could do Christmas cards with this technique, wouldn't that be beautiful? And then all I did was glue this down flat, like so, and see how quick this is? And the nice thing is, is I have two more pieces already done to make another two cards. Okay, and then I took, this is the Stitch So Sweetly dies. These are one of my favorites. Um, you get some stitch rectangles in it and then a whole bunch of fun shapes. And I think out of all my dies, this is the one I reach for the most. Okay, so your friendship feels like home to me. Isn't that sweet? Missing you. I can't thank you enough. I'm always and forever here for you. Like this is just such a nice set. And then it needs some kind of an embellishment. I would love some of these brushed metallic dots, but I don't think I have any right now. Ooh, the black would actually look nice. These are the matte black dots. So you can see Stampin' Up! has tons of embellishments that we sell. You know what? I've got some metallic silver ones. Oh, here they are. Look at that metallic silver. Comes actually metallic silver and gold. They come in a package together. And for some reason, I have tons of the silver. Okay, where did my take your pick tool go? Because it's got a putty and a putty knife on the end of it. So let's see, sometimes this works for me, sometimes it doesn't, but oh yes, there it goes. And it's a, it's a sticky picker upper tool. How about that for an official name? Do you like that? Okay, so you guys, which card do you like better? Do you like it with the, so this is the rose, gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper. And this is the brushed metallic foil. Both of them are fairly new specialty papers. And then look at these beautiful pieces. So I can actually create two more cards by doing this. So which one do you like better? Any preference? Hello, Pat. Hello, Karen. I'll put this aside. So let me know what you like. Kathy likes the silver. Maybe you want this card instead, Kathy, instead of the shaker frame. Kind of fun, though. Anyway, so I hope you guys try this card. I want to thank you so much for watching me today. Oh, Nancy likes the gold. Ooh, this is going to be really, it's going to be a tough race. I'll have to post it on my Karina's Creations um, channel as well. Bilkis loves the copper. Awesome. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you give it a try. And if you bought a spot in the Celebration Extravaganza, join me tonight at 7 o'clock and I'll do all the draws. And also, if you're interested in my stamp camp, let me know because it's going to close October 1st and I finally just designed the project. So I will send out an email to you if you're on my list. And, uh, oh, Carolyn likes the gold too. Okay, I'll have to post a picture and you guys can vote on which one you like. So have a fabulous day, you guys. And if you have any questions about celebration, just let me know. Bye.